Hello, I'm Nancy Haller, Guild Certified Feldenkrais Practitioner. We're going to talk a little bit about TMJ. Temporal Mandibular Joint Dysfunction is actually what it's called. I'll give you a little bit about my dental history. I had a class three malclusion, larger lower jaw than upper jaw. So temporal mandibular joint dysfunction was my whole life. Um, I started, I've had braces twice. I've worn braces over seven years of my life. And I finally ended up with a maxillofacial surgery to correct my jaw. Well, first, let's talk anatomy. The temporal mandibular joint, if you put your fingers inside your ears and open your jaw, you will actually feel the joint in function. Everything in your body kind of relates to this teeny little joint here. Whether you stand on your left foot more, it's gonna pull your jaw to the left side. If you stand on your right, it's gonna pull. If you have your hands too tight, it's gonna pull your jaw shut. So let's do a few experiments so you can all see what happens. The TMJ creates a lot of chaos in people's life. They have pain in the neck, they have headaches, they have jaw pain, they have all kinds of dental issues. There's a lot of things that go on around this tiny little pair of joints. This is how the jaw actually connects to the skull is at this particular joint. Okay, so if you wanna just sit for a moment, we'll do things in sitting, it's so much easier because that's what we do all the time. You can do it in standing also, but we'll just do sitting for now. So as you're sitting, where are your feet? Are they together? Are they apart? So you'll notice perhaps that you sit a little bit more to one side than the other. So have your feet close together. And what happens to your jaw? What happens if you separate your feet about six or eight inches? What happens to your jaw joints? Now, turn your toes inward. What happens in your face to your jaw? What happens if you turn your toes outward? Let's bring the heels a little bit together. Not the toes, the heels. What happens to your head placement and your jaw? What happens if you take your heels out and put your knees together? Where does your head go? Where does your jaw get tight? Does one side get tight more than the other? These are all going to affect your jaw. We go in and have the dentist look at our teeth and say, oh, you have TMJ, so we need to check your, your dental, your teeth, right? Do you have a high filling? Is there one tooth higher than the other? They'll file your teeth down. Where's your tongue lying? What's going on with your teeth? They always think it's right here when you have temporal mandibular joint dysfunction. But sometimes it is everywhere else. It has you, your personal tension totally relates to your jaw tension. If you take for a moment and grip your hands, what happens to your jaw? If you stare intently at your telephone, what happens to your jaw? When you look at the computer and you're on the keyboard, what happens to your jaw? And if you've been working on the computer and looking at your telephone for hours every single day, the chances are pretty good that your jaw is clamped tight shut. That is what happens. It is not necessarily your teeth, although they can be an issue. Like for me, with my lower jaw being one half inch wider than my upper jaw, my lower jaw looked like this, my lower jaw looked like that. So when they went together, right, there were no teeth that met. So they even asked me how I chewed food. I looked at them like, I don't know, I just do. So these are all observations that you can begin to look at within yourself. How do I personally in my posture and the way I hold my tension, and the way I hold my hands on the steering wheel of my car, and when I'm working on the computer with my hands palm down all the time, how does that affect the tension that's creating temporal mandibular joint dysfunction? Every time you notice, then you have an option 
to change the pattern. That's where the Feldenkrais method is fantastic because we provide learning options to movement patterns that you may not normally use. So again, let's just do a couple of little things and try them out. Okay, so you're sitting. Hopefully you're sitting on something that's like a chair or you know, if you're sitting in a cushy couch where you're falling into it, then you have no support for your skeleton. You have no support for your head. So if your head doesn't have any support and you're watching TV in your lazy back recliner, your jaw is head forward and your jaw will be tight. So find a place to sit. I choose a wood stool. I know it's weird. I sit on a wood stool all the time. When you sit on something that supports you and your head, your head carriage, then your jaw can let go. It cannot let go when your head is forward. Put your head forward. Automatically, your jaw closes and clamps shut. If you're driving your car and you're looking like your jaw will be tight. And if you do that long enough, it's going to be tight all the time. Some people clamp their jaws shut when they sleep and they sleep with their hands like this. It is totally connected and related, totally connected and related. How do we stop these patterns? We'll just go through a couple of really quick, soft kinds of movement things, and you can try them out in your own personal daily life and see if they work for you. So as I'm sitting, I'm going to ever so slowly, my feet are about hip width apart. So I'm going to ever so slowly just kind of bring my heels inward like, like that. I'm not going to bring my toes out. I'm going to bring my heels in. I'm going to take a nice breath. You can breathe a lot of ways. Breathe through your nose. Right? Breathe in. Exhale like a candle. Now, how's that? Okay, so now we have a little softness in our jaw because we've exhaled, letting go. And the third way we breathe, I was showing you, the third way releases the diaphragm, releases the levator, releases the um, psoas muscle, releases the uh, uh, it doesn't matter. It releases a whole bunch of stuff. So it releases all these things. And when you go like that, all of a sudden you'll notice that your hands turn over. When your hands are palm up, the jaw can release. So if you just take a moment and you can't just turn your hands up because that's not how it works, take a breath. and feel the difference in what happens in your jaws. So now, if you'll just take pointer fingers and hold them on your lap, on your knees, and then ever so slowly turn your pointer fingers over, 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 palm up and continue, you're gonna notice that your chest will rise slowly forward. and then turn them back over so that they're just resting palm down on your knees. Now take your middle finger, tall man, and turn over from tall man finger over, 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 and you're gonna feel again your chest going forward and come back together. Now do ring man. and come back and now do your pinky fabulous 
all of a sudden you may notice, and it may take you more than once. I do this every day, like a, a lot, because I have always had issues with my temporal mandibular joint. So if you look at all of these things, now let's go even further. So within your mouth is a tongue. Take your tongue and slowly paint each tooth. Like stroke it down and then stroke it back up and then move to the, you can start right here in the first one, right? Stroke down slow and then back up and then move one tooth and down and back up and then move a tooth down and back up, move a tooth till you do all the way to the back. Now you come down and you do the bottom teeth, up and back down, up and back down, up and back down, up and back down. And you continue until you go all the way around to the other side. You can even turn your head when you do it. You can turn your head the opposite direction and do it. You can look straight ahead and do it. You can look up and do it. Then you come back on the front here, all the way up and down ever so slow. You can do this when you go to bed. This is really cool. Up and back down, up and back down. Then you're gonna do the inside. Same thing. And then you can do it when you're driving your car in traffic, right? So the inside, just paint each tooth up and back down inside, all, every single tooth, independently, individually, all the way up. And then you do the bottom ones. And then you go all the way around. And then you come up and do the inside of your mouth, all the way back around, right? And then ever so slowly, you just paint around and down and over and up and around to the center and then just come back and do up and down. All right? Take a breath, exhale. How are you doing? Then if you really wanna to go to heaven, you can open your eyes Rest your eyelashes, the top eyelashes on your bottom eyelashes, ever so slightly, ever so gently. Now I want you to think of someplace far away. I like to look at the universe. I like to look at the stars. I pretend I'm a little kid laying on the ground at night looking at the stars before my mom made me go to bed. And I'd look out and I'd look out and then I ever so slightly just kind of repeat that tooth thing. Don't do this when you're driving because your eyes are closed. And then ever so slowly, I open my eyes up. All of these things are super simple ways to just let go of the tension you hold in your jaws. Just so you have a little bit of my dental history, class three malclusion, I ended up in maxillofacial surgery. I had to correct mine uh, above and beyond what anybody could ever do. So I just wanted to share with you these ideas about temporal mandibular joint dysfunction. This is not gonna solve everybody's problem, <clears throat> but I do find that the tension we carry based on our posture, how we stand on one foot or the other, how we turn in rotations, how we sit, how we carry out in our life, how we walk, affect everything that we do, especially these teeny tiny little joints right here that hold our jaw onto our skull. My name is Nancy Howard, and I just wanted to know a little bit about my feeling about temporal mandibular joint dysfunction. Hope you have a great day. Keep on brushing your teeth with your tongue. It's a fabulous way to let go.